Hi, welcome to the Visit T stand at NAB 2017. Uh, I am Thomas, I'm one of the demo uh, artists here at the Sports Pod. And I'm going to show you a bit of the new uh, and latest features we have for Viz Libre, our analysis uh, solution, and also for our Viz Arena solution, which is uh, for live enhancement of uh, sports games. So I'll start off with uh, uh, Libre. Uh, some of the things we brought in in this latest release is uh, a new plugin framework. So this allows you to develop or, or use existing plugins inside Libre to uh, access uh, event data and also uh, tracks for, for players and uh, statistical data. So here I have a uh, NFL game. I'm going to open up my uh, uh, event selector. And you can see here I can go from different uh, teams, different quarters, and I can search for different uh, events. So once I just click on this, it takes me directly to that uh, event. And from this, I then create a, a clip, and I can straight away go in and start my uh, analysis. What's really cool uh, with this is that now I have all the, the tracks for these players and also all the names. So that means I can very quickly create an analysis. So I go into my editor uh, and let's say I want to track a few of the, uh, the running players here. So I'll add a few, few um, player labels. And you can see it's already tracking them now constantly. So it means I can do this very, very quickly. All of the graphics here are, of course, uh, rendered with our Viz engine. So it means you can customize these completely. You can uh, create your own branding. And this also allows you to add uh, new tools to our system. So, you, so in addition to our sort of existing tool set, you can now add your own tools. And this all is because of the, the engine in the background rendering graphics. So here's, uh, for example, a new sort of 3D text that we can uh, put in there quite easily. Uh, another one we've uh, created is, uh, uh, is a shot angle. So this allows you to be, be creative and, and add uh, tools that you th might be useful for your sport. With uh, Libro being a part of this family, we can, of course, have other integrations with other products. So another thing that we've add, added is integration with uh, this story, so, which is our online editing tool. Uh, so once I've created my analysis here, instead of just playing it out uh, to normal broadcast, I could also export this to uh, either this one system or to uh, a, a simple folder. So I can start this, this export. And once this uh, export is finished, I can then go into a web browser, which of course doesn't have to be on the same machine. This could be anywhere uh, in, my, uh, um, in my facilities. And I can now find this clip that I just uh, created. So I go inside this story. I search for my, uh, my clip. Bring it in. I say I want to create a st uh, story from this. And now I have this uh, on my timeline. And now I can simply add uh, some uh, graphics to this, because I want to post this either to social media or to a web platform and so on. So I quickly go in here, I find, OK, I want to have an opener for this. Drag this onto my timeline. This is going to be my NFL update. Uh, put that on there. I see straight away a preview of the uh, uh, graphic on my timeline. And I'm currently looking at a portrait version of the video. I could, of course, change this to, to landscape, and my graphic will then uh, adapt. So once I've finished uh, uh, creating my little clip, I want to post, I'm going to publish, and here I can then choose to which formats I want to pu publish. So it could be directly to my Facebook account, my Twitter account, or for other uh, purposes. Once that's done, I can then load my clip just to show you what that would actually look like on the different devices, uh, which you can see here. Yep. So, <clears throat> uh, one more thing I want to show you on the Libro side is uh, our new Telestrator. So this is now a, a very nice solution which allows you to, to not only show your analysis clip uh, using regular broadcast, but you can also now show it on the touch screen in your studio. So I'll just find a nice uh, 
uh, soccer clip that we have here. And I will then launch our uh, this Libra Telestrator. And this could either run on the same machine or can run on a completely different machine in your studio. So I have a touch screen here now, so I can now load my, the clip I want to play. <coughs> and this is basically the clip selector for the presenter in the studio. So he can now select the, the clips that have been presented. And he has now full control over this clip. The clip can either be uh, sort of partly made um, with the graphics already, or the presenter can do everything himself. So you can see I can now add, OK, there's a few important players here I want to follow. Hit play, and you can see these are now tracked. Uh, and at any point here, the, the uh, presenter can stop. And of course, also have access to our different virtual flights. So I want to see this situation from the uh, offside line. You can fly down to that side, or maybe go to, even into a virtual view to see what is really important in, or what's happening in the, the box. And then go back to my main camera, and I'll play on. So this is our latest Telestrator solution, which goes with the uh, Viz Libra. And I'm quickly going to change over to Viz Arena to show you the latest uh, features there. So Viz Arena is our uh, virtual enhancement for live games. So one of the main improvements we've added here is uh, a very, very stable and good uh, image-based camera tracking. So this now allows us to do more and more sports. I think we have up to 14 sports that we can do now. Uh, and particularly for, for increasing your revenue uh, for virtual advertising, this is a great solution. So here I have a, a hockey game. Uh, I then have a, a, a bin with my different uh, ads that I want to add to this game. I simply put them on, on air. And I have this ad logger here. So this ad logger will actually log whenever the virtual graphic is on, on air. So let me just start my, my game here. Uh, and I'll start my... Uh, ads logger and as the camera now pans over to to the right hand side you'll see that some of these ads will come uh, come on on air and the ads logger will now start adding this so this can then at the end of the game uh, be exported into a file and give you a, um, a log of all the virtual graphics that sorry all the virtual ads that have actually been on it so I hope you have time to to come along to our stand and uh, and have a look at these latest features that we have to show you. Thank you.